What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Jake, aka In God's Reach here, bringing you guys another voiceover commentary of a Paragon gameplay that I did record earlier today. Um, and basically the topic, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be starting up kind of like how Britic's doing right now. He's starting up like a beginner's guide. I don't want to start up like a beginner's guide for the for the beginners of Paragon. Um, you can follow him for that if you if you do want to see like a, a full on beginner's guide that he does have and that he is gonna have throughout the week and throughout the next two weeks or so. But this video, I want to get to the point and make this video quick. I just want to talk about jungling, man, because I feel like it's a lot different. I made a how to jungle video back in like the V42 days, right when Monolith was really early, and that one was pretty you know pretty self explanatory, pretty simplistic. But I feel like jungling now, for one, it's boring. Right? It's not as fun as, as jungling in like League of Legends or jungling somewhere else. But the thing that I want to talk to you guys about is not only how to make it fun, but how to make your routes. And I want to tell you guys some, I guess I'll tell you guys some beginner tips, but then again also intermediate and advanced tips on jungling and what you should do and what you really need to do just to be an aggressive and a successful jungler within the game. And so that people aren't constantly bitching at you about how to jungle and, you know, bitching at you about how to play the game because everybody has different ways to jungle everybody has different ways to play the game and that's what a lot of hostile and toxic people just do not understand everybody plays this game different right everybody plays this game different everybody plays roles and heroes different and that's just the way it is man that's what makes the world go round right we all have different things that we do in our lives that we do that are different than others and when we're playing this game we're all playing the game differently than others so i'm going to tell you guys my tips on how i play and I think it'll help you out if you do execute some of these tips of how I play into the way that you play, into your play style, right? So the first thing that I really want to talk about is finding the heroes that work for you in the jungle, honestly. And that comes down to finding out which heroes work with which hero, right? So let's say you have like Morgesh in the mid or you have, you know, Twin Blast on the... Uh, as an ADC in Muriel as a support, you know, figuring out what, what, uh, you know, what jungler would work for you, what jungler would work in that, in that type of composition and in that team comp, right? And that's, I, I don't know, that's simplistic. I'm not even gonna really talk about that. I'm just gonna tell you guys right off the bat that that's a big tip that I found, especially solo queuing, sometimes even talking to the, talking to the people and talking to the people in the draft lobby, you know, it's a really good thing to do just so that you can, you can kind of figure out, you know, if the off laner is going tanky and if he's not going tanky, then you can be like, all right, well, I'm going to go tanky as a jungler. Like it's just kind of communication as well. So that's something that I just wanted to kind of briefly get out there. Another thing that I really want to talk about as well, and this is big, bro, is the rotations that you're going throughout your jungle. I'm going to spend a lot of time, I feel like, on this topic just because a lot of people do not do this right. And I'm not talking about what jungle camps you go to, right? I'm not saying start with this jungle camp and go to this jungle camp. Of course, always start in the big jungle camp, but you have to rotate to that lane, right? You can't go from one jungle camp to the next jungle camp without rotating into a lane, it's an intimidation factor. I've stressed this enough on multiple videos of just like gameplays of me playing as a jung as a jungler. It is intimidation, dude, right? If you're an ADC with a support and you see Grux, right? You see Grux coming around, you're like, oh fuck, bro. I gotta book it. I gotta get out of here because Grux is a mean mug, bro. You don't want to fuck with Grux, especially when they have like a Revenant and a Muriel for their support. Right? So that's what you have to do. You have to be that intimidation, right? You have to be that that Fang Mao or that Grux or that Chimera or that Kalari that constantly rotates from lane to lane. I'm talking off lane, mid lane, safe lane, the whole nine yards, right? If I start in the big the big jungle, right, and I get my green buff, I'm automatically going over there after I get, after I I hit those first jungle camps, right? After I hit those big minions, I get my green buff. I'm I'm going right over to my ADC and my um, in this gameplay, as I mean, as you can see, I'm going right over to the, to the ABC into the support, right? Because that is the closest lane and I want to intimidate them, bro. I want to put in that intimidation factor. I want to scare the shit out of them. And I want to make the enemy team know that I am relevant within the game, that I am rotating my lanes because I shit you not, dude, it is, it is going to help not only with you becoming a better player, but with your team's toxicity. Right, because they're gonna respect the shit that you are rotating the lanes. Because you're guaranteed to get at least a couple ganks early game. 
Like, that's a guarantee. If you want to know how to get kills, like, you have to rotate your lanes and get ganks. But you don't have to look for ganks precisely. Just rotate your lanes to get that intimidation factor into the enemy's mind. Same goes for mid lane, right? Mid lane's a bit easier because it's only one. It's only one hero, right? And then if you're over on off lane and you're over there, just hop over there once every now and then and then scare the shit out of them, intimidate them, maybe hit them a couple times and then book it. Stay over there for a little bit longer, go back at them and then book it. It's just a repetitive process. And that's kind of what makes jungling so boring is that it is just a repetitive process, right? If you're playing ADC or something, you have like a, a killer alt or you have, you know, you're, you're constantly trying to trying to, to poke the, the enemy team. But in jungle, you know, you're rotating lanes constantly, you're, you're farming jungle camps, which is boring as hell, and you're trying to get ganks. Like, that's it. You know, it's a repetitive process. So constantly rotate the jungles and rotate your lanes, man. It's not that hard, but a lot of people, a lot of people just farm in this game, and that is not what you want to do. Do not farm right farm your jungle camps but do not farm 24 7 you do not want to do that man if you're level three if you're level three and you in in the off lane or solo lane or whatever lane needs help go and help them bro you're a jungler you need to be over there you need to have you need to help a little bit and you need to show that support um just because i feel like that is part of a jungler's job and if you don't do that then you know your team's going to be very hostile and they're going to be very toxic and you probably won't end up winning the game just because of the fact that you're not helping out the teammates but that's simplistic stuff right advanced players will be like well no shit i do that anyway but a lot of people don't understand that a lot of people don't do that and i've seen advanced players that i've played with not do that and that's just something that you guys have to get through your head right so just you know get that through your head and do it and then put that and execute that into the play style that you play Another thing that I really want to emphasize really doesn't come down to the gameplay mechanics of jungling, but this is going to sound corny because not a lot of people have time to do this, but watch, watch a professional jungler, if that makes sense, right? Watch somebody that, that, that plays on a, on a Paragon team. If you guys watch like the PEX championship and like that whole tournament, you know, there's a lot of teams, like there's a Toronto, you know, a Canadian team based out of Toronto. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of teams, right? That are constantly constantly posting stuff find a jungler that's a professional and watch him play right or watch somebody like rgsa or britic hd or somebody that's really good somebody that's diamond player watch them play and, and and learn how they play see what they do and learn how they play that's simplistic too brief i'm not going to really go over that i just think that that's something that i needed to get next thing that i do want to talk about as well i said this before my old school jungle how to jungle video and i said this before on my how to mid lane video back in the day like right when v42 came out you got to control the river buffs, bro. The river buff is not just the mid lane's priority, man. I really do believe that you have to control that river buff. Just for the aspect that, again, intimidation, it's showing that you're going around lanes. And honestly, if you're playing jungle and you're rotating lanes, you're not farming that much, you should honestly constantly be over there anyway you know what i'm saying so you should be rotating between the river camps and the river buffs and then obviously hopefully getting them right so definitely maintain that river um and try to get the river buffs as much as possible along with having your mid lane get the river buffs as much as possible as well right now this is kind of my opinion you guys don't really have to have to do this one this is this is just my opinion but this is actually based on a card right and i feel like this card is a necessity for a jungler at least early game you can take it off late game but flame of zetchen dude flame of zetchen i feel like is a necessity early game bro because when you're going for for fang tooth or hell you might be going for orb prime flame of zetchen helps so much drastically with, with getting that with getting that right if you're if you're gonna go for fang tooth or whatnot you know constantly max out that flame of zetchen and after a couple fang tooths or if you get orb or something you can ditch it get like unbroken spirit or something like that one of the tribes some other bigger card you know um but flame of zetchen is something that i really do think that is you know something that you really need just for the aspect of having it because if you guys do end up going in for a fang tooth battle and the other guys do have it if you the enemy does have flame of zetchen odds are they're probably going to steal that from you but if you have it odds are you're probably going to steal it from them and the last thing that i am going to emphasize on guys before i wrap this video up before it gets too long because i don't want to make it long it'll probably be anywhere close to 11 to 12 minutes but the last thing like i said i want to emphasize 
is being the ringleader of these team fights, man. You know, I'm, I'm saying don't be the last person to a team fight. Be the first person that initiates it. You know, there's a lot of junglers that do not initiate team fights. Hell, that don't even fight in team fights, right? That I've seen. They're pushing lanes or they're doing something else or they're constantly doing something else. You know, don't be that jungler, right? Initiate in a team fight. Win the team fight because if you're in the team fight, man, junglers can put in either a lot of damage or they, or they can take a lot of damage. And if the team is focused on you and you're taking a lot of damage, it gives your damage dealers a lot more time to completely wreck the opposing team. And if you're putting in a lot of damage, then, I mean, you're probably going to end up getting kills right off the bat just because you're putting in a lot of damage. Let's say you have like Shatter Golem or Heavy Hitter or you just, you know, any of those cards and you're putting in a lot of damage early game to mid game to late game. You know, it's always good to initiate those fights, man. There's so many junglers, so many people that are like that bitch and that say and they blame on another person because, you know, they weren't in that fight. You know, I've seen junglers that say, you know, why did you guys go into that fight? It was 4v3, you know, but the jungler was in the jungle camp and he was farming. It's like, dude, you know, you have to watch that map. That's another thing I guess I could say. Watch the map. Always look at the map. You know, the map is crucial. Always look at that map. I'm always looking at that map. I look at the map more than I look at my hero. And that's really how it should be for you guys, man. You know, always look at that map because it's something that's really crucial. And you really want to you really want to look at that map just for the aspect of knowing where everybody is. You know, if somebody has finder of play things and you can see where everybody is. If they got wards, if you have wards, you can just see where everybody is and you have some great vision if you do constantly look at that map. You know, and you're going to know where your team is. And if your team's fighting and you're not there as a jungler, that's a no-no, bro. That is no fucking bueno, bro, if you are a jungler and you're not fighting. But guys, that is going to end up wrapping up the video. Like I said, I wanted to make it a bit short, but this is kind of just like a beginner to an intermediate guide on how to jungle. You know, my tips. Like I said, everybody plays jungle different. Everybody jungles different. If you guys jungle different, tell me what you guys do in the comments below. Um... And if you guys don't jungle different and you kind of jungle like me, then hey, bro, we're on the same page. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, of course, smash that subscribe button for more Paragon content. And as always, hope you all have a great and peaceful afternoon. Take care and peace out. Thanks.